Hey there, YouTube. Today, I'm going to talk about shot timers. So, as you as you know, or if you don't know, you can at least imagine, there's a lot of different brands of shot timers on the market. Quite a few different. Um, I've used a bunch. The Pocket Pro ones I used for a long time. But I just got another one in the mail of these, the Kestrel. I bought this one, if you're curious. I bought all my Kestrel timers. Uh, why did I get another one? Well, I think this is number four for me, four of these things. Why do I keep buying these? Because they keep working well. Uh, so if you, yeah, with four of these, five, whatever, with as many of these as I have now, I'd say I'm entirely switched over to the Kestrel timers. Now, what I want from a timer is that it's number one, it is a functional shot timer, like a nice loud beep, it's it's uh, adjustable sensitivity, so it can pick up uh, gunshots uh, at different environments, that kind of stuff. And this does those things. This is a very functional shot timer. Super loud beep, you know, does good at picking up the times on stuff. That's what I needed to do, be a shot timer. The other thing that I have like, that I care about, and it was a problem for the last timer that I was using a lot, the Pocket Pro ones. Uh, it was that it needs to be robust and durable. Now, in the I think I use the the Pocket Pro timers almost exclusively for like fifteen years ish teaching, and in that time, I cannot tell you how many of them I had fail in some way. Um, water would kill them. They would just like the sc the the screens would crack and start to break. The buttons uh, would eventually stop working. I mean. They're not that robust, and I ended up buying quite a few of them over the years um, until finally they pissed me off when I got one that came. It was bad from them, so I was just like, man, I have to respect myself a little bit. I need to stop buying these timers, so I switched over to these Kestrel timers. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to open it up. It's not going so good. Anyway, um, since I've switched over to these more robust Kestrel timers, I have not had any of them fail. I use them out in the rain. I, I've actually left one out in the rain overnight, inadvertently, but I did do that. And it just kept working. It just kept functioning. It's amazing. So what I like about this, the battery compartment you can see is even waterproofed. I've just opened it up to take the, the covers off the battery so this thing will turn on. Let's take the screen cover off. There we go. All right. So here we are. A new Kestrel timer. <laughs> nice loud beep and adjustable par settings and all of that. Anyway, what's the point of this? Um, I'm willing to pay a little bit more if I get something that's that's durable, it's robust, it'll keep working. Um, that to me matters a lot. And the Kestrel timers have been a big win. There's not much stuff that I start using. I'm like, wow, this is this is awesome. This is just better. But in this case, the Kestrel timer, like for my for my needs, this is this is the best thing I've tried. It really is. Like it's it's so durable. It it's uh it's got the lithium 123 battery, so the battery life is really good. Um nice attractive design, nice screen this way. I can hang it on my belt and look at this screen. You know, it's it does a great job with all of the timer stuff. What's the downside of this thing? It's expensive. It's really expensive. It's like $300 for one. Let's see what they are on Amazon right now, actually. Um, and that's annoying. That's a, a, like a lot of products that I like. It'll be like, hey, I, it's a really good product. What's the problem with it? Oh, it's too much money. And to me, like when it, that is the only problem with it or the big problem with the thing is how much it costs it's usually the thing that I'm going to want because it's like, okay, it's like it does all the stuff that I want. It's the best. It's just expensive. Like, okay, well, I think I'll get it. That's just how that's how I th think. Yep. Okay. These are going for $2.99 on Amazon right now. Like, Jesus, these are expensive. Anyway, I thought I would share that. The Kestrel timers are working well for me. I really like them. I don't know how many more I'm going to need to buy because I don't really break them. So I have two I travel with and then one stays in each office like... I'm not sure how many more I need.